Earthmar is a joint venture between the Geological Survey of Ireland and the Marine Institute and it's a national mapping programme of our seabed and it's a big endeavour basically to understand more about what's out there, what can't we see beneath the waves, what hazards are there, what resources and what kind of landscape exists on the seafloor around Ireland. It's the third and final part to what has been a long journey to try to map all of Ireland's uh, marine territory. It started with territorial mapping done under UNCLOS, that's the United Nations Convention for the Law of the Sea. That outlined, if you like, the boundary. This is how far our territory could extend. After that came the Irish National Seabed Survey, INSS. And what that did was it mapped all of our waters over 200 metres depth. That left uh, 125,000 square kilometres to map, so that left Infomar. So if you like, Infomar is completing the puzzle, it's mapping the shallow waters, and that's the actual the area where most of the activity takes place, it's where ships could run aground, it's the pit that people see, it's our ports and harbours. So that's what Infomar is doing now, we're completing the mapping. You might wonder, well, what's in it for me? Just getting on a ferry requires a safer chart. The sand for building your house, we have to find that in the sea, extract it for building materials. The research aspect of it is really, it goes into what we eat, you know, as in fish. And if we can target habitats and protect them and utilise the resource much better, well, then obviously we're going to eat fish for longer. And Joe Soap should be happy with that. For me, it feels like true exploration, because you don't know what you're going to find that would have been missed back in the day. We find uh, shipwrecks, some of them are already known, and some aren't, but either way we produce maps of them that haven't been produced before in very crisp detail. All of the Infomar shipwreck data is available publicly. Uh, we've collated a database uh, currently with over 300 shipwrecks, uh, which stems over a period of 12 years of survey operations. Some of the known ones would be uh, the Lusitania, the Leinster, but more recently then, the Kiri was involved with surveying the uh, possible Spanish Armada wreck off of Rutland Island in Donegal, which has a potential date from 1488. We now have the technology to see our seabed in 3D and in high resolution. It's been recognised also at a European level how important it is for a nation to know what's beyond the coastline because the economic benefits of maritime resources are huge. People think of Ireland as the dry bit, the bit we live on, but actually if you include the wet bit, the bit we may be able to claim, it's ten times larger than our onshore territory. The Marine Institute came up with the idea of calling it the real map of Ireland and that shows you very simply that while Ireland is this little bit we live on, there is all the bit that we can do more stuff with. And we've kind of extended that now into producing, if you like, real maps of other areas. So a real map of Dublin, including the offshore area, a real map of Galway, including Galway Bay. So to make people realise that, you know, to, to realise there is a resource out there, there is more out there, there's more territory out there. Infomar in particular has been cited as a best role model for seabed mapping um, all over the world. We've had other countries look to us for you know, our expertise and what we have done with, with our surveying and with our data. There's a European Commission Green Paper on mapping the seabed and on ocean observatory work uh, in the context of moving towards having an all Europe map of the seabed by 2020. So again, our experience to date puts us at the forefront in, in terms of being able to advise and, and, uh, and develop the approach to that. Europe's Marine Knowledge 2020 initiative um, is is about linking up marine organisations across Europe and making data more available and more accessible. Infomar is contributing mainly seabed mapping data and hydrographic data and providing access to data. All of the data is available free and it's available on the web once it's been QC'd and checked. And the idea there is to remove the pay barriers. And again, when we did it, it was very pioneering and now it's the European norm. We get data and hopefully with our expertise and technology, we turn it into information. And the information feeds into decision-making systems, which then facilitate policy making. And that's basically what we're trying to do. If you don't have our data, you can't make the information that's going to actually feed into good decision-making and good policy. We're just beginning to open up the Pandora's box, really, but a good Pandora's box, if you like, because a lot of people are coming up with things that we've never even thought of. We have small indigenous Irish companies, uh, and they're able to drill into it and develop technologies, tools, software, uh, and all sorts of innovative products uh, that, that use this data or that use technology 
uh, to make it available uh, in the public domain. People are using gaming technology which allows a 3D environment to be created. So we have tidal models which allow us to look at elevation, we have tsunami models. We can put these into a computer gaming environment and we can assess how they would impact in the real world. Ireland is such a large maritime area and it's so important for our maritime identity that we make the most of our marine resource and being involved with contributing data to these projects or these initiatives is really important for Ireland. We carried out a full uh, capital appraisal of the project in 2008. That was carried out by external financial consultants, PricewaterhouseCoopers, and the, the, the result of that report was that the return across all sectors is something between four and five times of the cost of the investment. It's an area where there's growing opportunity and also it's obviously an international transportable area. Any country with coast, any country with, with a marine territory needs to get engaged in these programs. We have a really fascinating sea floor around the country. All kinds of benefits from a scientific point of view to know more about it, but huge benefits as well from an economic point of view. From a point of view of Ireland standing on its own two feet and showing the world that we're on top of our game. You know, we're learning more about our own backyard and how we can make use of it to benefit our population.